The task force also announcing changes to health protocols 2 and 3. In the case of protocol 2, for those who are well and tested positive or have been assessed by a doctor to have a mild condition, from today all patients that fall into the two groups here can be managed by their primary care doctors. Those falling outside of these age brackets will continue to be managed by MOH either through the home recovery program or at a care facility or hospital. Meanwhile, from this Friday, two key changes will be introduced to Protocol 3. First, a new health risk notice will replace the current health risk warning for close contacts identified by MOH. Those issued with an HRN can continue to obtain their ART test kits through designated vending machines to facilitate their self-testing during the monitoring period. Second, the recommended self-monitoring period will be reduced from the current seven days to five days. That said, those who have already received HRWs should still complete their, exi their existing monitoring periods. Health protocols, uh, we must remember almost everything about Omicron variant is faster than all previous variants. So for example, Omicron patients recover part faster which is why we shortened the discharge period earlier. Omicron also has a shorter incubation duration and an earlier infectious window. You put that together, the result is that it has a very short serial interval. Uh, what is a serial interval? This refers <clears throat> to the time taken between a first person infected and experiencing symptoms and the next person that the first person infected to be also getting symptoms. That is called a serial interval. Based on our studies, the serial interval for Delta is about two days. Uh, sorry, the serial interval for Delta is about four days. The serial interval for Omicron is as short as two days. So our health protocols need to adapt to this distinct characteristic of Omicron of having very short serial interval.